All right, first things first is remove the wheel. Obviously, raise, I raised one side of my, uh, of my axle. Put, the, uh, put your uh, emergency brake all the time when you're going to raise your car. You don't want it moving on you. And then you put a, a jack stand next to the jack. I use two things, a jack and a jack stand. I'll take these off. Okay, you see all this right here? This is where your wheel spacer is going to sit. This area needs to be clean. No, no rust, scaling, no paint, no nothing. That needs to be clean. Okay, that's your number one issue with uh, wheel spacers falling off. Is that people don't clean them? They just put them on, and if there's anything there that's like holding it, not holding it flat, then the wheel is going to be moving at a different, uh, at a bad angle, and it's going to break. It's eventually, it's going to shear off. Your lug nuts in. Okay, so I kick it off by uh, using the wire brush. You can use a wire brush or you could use a grinder with the wire brush. Uh, I always wear your safety glasses when you want wire brush. You don't want that, those little this going on your eye, okay? It's bad news. So, just start cleaning it up. Just take the basic stuff off. Make sure you get in between the, the lug nuts that are in here, you know. You want to get all that nice and clean. All right. So that's that. The next step would be to you also want to clean the back of the spacer, okay? You want to have a nice flat surface. A nice flat surface. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that with the grinder as well, the wire wheel. Okay. Start it. See, it's nice and flush. your lug nuts put them in by hand always put them in by hand first don't put them in with the torque gun and you you're gonna cross cross thread the, the lug nuts put them in start them up okay. these I normally put a, a little bit of grease on here or Vaseline something just to so that when you torque it you get a more accurate torque rating it's not it's not binding on the metal Nice and easy. No, no, put them down just to speed up the process, okay? All right. There, there, they're in there, okay? Remember, don't, don't hit it with the gun. Just, you're just, all you're doing is put them in so that you could do it faster. Next step would be to uh, torque them down. And I like to torque them down in three increments. So, so we'll start at 30, 30 pounds. Okay, you set your torque wrench to a 30 pounds. Two, 
three. And you're always doing cross pattern. Four. Five. Six. Okay. And now I'll bring it up to 60. Okay. 60 pounds. Same thing all over. One. Two. Then we're going up to 90 pounds. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. six and that's it guys 90 pounds okay does it have more yes you can go more do you want to go more no because that's what they that's what they recommend on these if you go 90 pounds and that's where you stay okay don't go in there with the impact and keep going because then you risk cracking this okay so don't do that after that then you're going to clean this surface you want to clean this surface and you want to clean the wheel surface before you install the wheel all right. Sorry. So then, same thing. Okay. There. Nice and clean. All right. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna check my wheel, and then uh, we'll clean that up too, and I'll show you. All this scaling, all this nasty stuff, that has to go. You want it nice and clean, okay? All right, once you do this, uh, then you can start your wheel. All right, guys, so right here, another problem that a lot of people run into, I didn't run into it luckily, but a lot of people do, is that their lugs extend further out, especially depending on what size your, your spacer is. Sometimes your spacers are like, say, a half inch or one inch. Um, those are the ones that you're going to have trouble with, with the uh, lug, the lug uh, being too long. If that lug is sticking out, it doesn't matter how much. If it's sticking out further than this, it's not going to allow your wheel to sit flat on the spacer. And that, my friends, is, like I believe, the number one reason why they break off. Okay? Because the wheel is not sitting flat. It's just pretty much bouncing around in here because... It's just sitting on the lug. It's not sitting flat. You need it flat so that all the pressure, this becomes one piece, okay? Uh, but if there's uh, something something here sticking out and the wheel's not sitting right, then it's not one piece. It's gonna shear off these lugs. And that's when accidents happen, all right? So um, remember that if your lug sticks out, you have to grind them down. Then I'm gonna grab my gun, the same thing. I'm not going to torque them down, I'm just going to tighten them up. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Now, you want to torque these down. Same thing, 90 pounds, okay? 90 pounds. Here we go. Start up here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. And that's it. Okay? No more, no less. Just it. That's all you need. Okay, and that's how you stall wheel spacers. All right, guys, so this is the stance of the truck already with the uh, spacers installed. As you can see, it's pretty 
Ya, turun. See that? That's a big difference. Okay.